We're back now with the Valley Animal Center for M Monday. It's my favorite day of the week. They join us every Monday to feature an adorable adoptable so we can help reduce the stray pet population. So here with us today, Ruben Cantu, the Valley Animal Center's care adoption supervisor. Uh, say that again. All right, so they're going to come with us in just a second. We'll see if we can get them. But Daya is a two-year-old chihuahua, and Daya is looking for her forever home. They say that when she came in, she had four babies of her own, and so she was just lovable. She loved everybody the minute that she came to the Valley Animal Center. However, if she is going to be adopted, she will need to meet and greet. If you've got a home that has dogs, she will need to do a meet and greet, although she was raised in a house with dogs, so she has some experience with that. They say that uh, she loves her squeaky toys. She does like to get your attention by barking because she um, she's a sassy lady. All right, Ruben, there we go with Daya. She's ready for her close-up. All right, Ruben, tell us about Daya. What is Daya like? She looks like a sassy lady. Yeah, so like you said, she's an estimated about two-year-old mama who came to us while nursing her babies, and she did it. An amazing job and at, at, like you said she's been you know uh, i have three twelves of my own if i have them for a fourth she's like the perfect little dog but uh, like you mentioned she's great with other dogs she the home she actually came from had 17 small dogs just like her on the property so she's very used to sharing her space but again for somebody out there that maybe has one other dog or no dogs. I think she would benefit from either household setting. She is so cute. I love her little ears. Her little ears are a little bit crooked and that's my favorite quality in a dog. What are Dea's uh, adoption fees? So her adoption fees as of right now are $180. That includes her being spayed, microchipped, up to date on vaccines. But starting this Thursday, we are running a promotion with the Bissell Foundation, which is empty the shelters. So all of our adult dogs and cats are going to be $25. And all of our puppies and kittens are going to be $50. So starting this Thursday, she will be at a discounted adoption rate for anybody out there that's interested. Okay, and we'll put all those details online as well. All right, uh, tomorrow is 4th of July. It's probably a pet's most uh, anxious day. What are your tips for keeping animals safe, keeping them close to us during 4th of July? Yeah, not only for the pets, but for shelter workers like myself, it's like the most dreaded holiday because tons of animals are going to go missing. But the biggest things are the, the biggest. Bring your pets inside. I know some of your animals may not be your pet going missing this holiday. Bring them inside, put them in a kennel, put them in a spare room or bathroom. But, you know, loud music, something distracting like a movie, things that they could listen to on a TV or a radio, things like that are going to benefit your animal. And don't just consider your dog feelings through this your cats as well are just as a uh, uh receptive to the noise and the impact of those booms that are happening throughout the neighborhoods right now yes oh the movie thing is a great suggestion my dog loves to watch tv so put put a movie on put the television on turn it up a, a little louder than you might like and that that might be real distracting all right we're going to put everything online ruben and daya thank you so much Thank you. Coming up, summertime is the perfect time to travel the world. How you can head to your next destination in style. We're back with Jets Plus after the break.